He's a fucking ass. Yo, 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 yo. Gus man. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, no, Gus you man. didn't. You motherfucking yo, yo, piece of shit pops up. Yo, 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 yo. What the fuck, yo? Mark my the fucking word. Even appear. Did you see that? It didn't appear until it died. I'm coming to you. I'm gonna you find out who never came. You, you see that? The person who never came. You see that? The person who never came. You see that? The person who never came. Let this be noted. Why are you in this platform? You are done.
The Ziggy Piggy is here. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the late stream, and welcome to a game playthrough conclusion after over two weeks. Actually, I think at this point, it's about three weeks. 
of uh, playing Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Of course, keep in mind, I've only been playing it in two-hour late-night increments. I've not been playing it as daytime streams. We're about to finish the playthrough tonight at roughly around 20 hours or so. Uh, we don't have much left. We already beat the main game, went into this optional World 8, which actually was incredibly challenging. Each stage took upwards of 40 minutes to beat. Got through all six of those stages. We're now at the final stage, stage 7, which I'm assuming is going to be a second version of the final boss, much like we did <clears throat> earlier in the game, only probably way more challenging. If it really is an ultra-challenging final boss, it could take a while to beat. Uh, from what I'm to understand, there is still uh, a little more left in the game. Just a little bit more left uh, after this. I don't know what it is. No one's really spoiled for me, thank goodness, because obviously I didn't want to be spoiled. Um, but I don't know how much is left. We'll see. But from what I'm being told, from very, those who have beaten the game already, very, there is no reason why I shouldn't beat it in the two hours from we have left tonight. Uh, it should be wrapped up. If it is, great. I'll give you my kind of final thoughts and opinions during the real credits of the game. And then... <clears throat> excuse me. And then, uh, if we have extra time, we could do whatever. Like I was going to say, we could do a QA and a session for a little bit. I don't know how long it's going to take. If it takes like an hour. I mean, we could, we could actually do an hour of Q&A if you really wanted to. Um, I guess we'll see. Okay, so a chill, fun stream. I say chill, but, you know, this should be pretty challenging. The, all the post-game stuff has been quite challenging. Uh, way different from the main game, which is more relaxing and easy. It's been actually, like, difficult to survive and beat the bosses and find all the items I needed to find, right? <clears throat> so we'll see. We'll see how it goes tonight. I want to say to everyone here, let's have a good time. Keep remember to like the stream if you enjoy the content. Please remember to... Support if you can, and that means it could be anything. A membership, a super chat, a super sticker, a tip, all that stuff is welcome, okay? Now, I talked about this on the pre-stream earlier today. I've not mentioned it since then, so allow me to bring it up. This Monday night, because we're finishing Kirby tonight, we're doing something different. We're starting up something new, okay? What will it be? Well, it's going to be something from Game Pass Ultimate that I've already kind of started, but I don't know what. I'm by! You guys are determining I'm what it's going to be. I'm right by! Right now, on the main channel page of PSP Gaming, under the community tab is a poll where you can vote on five different games, one of which will be played on Monday night to take over for the fact that Kirby is about to conclude. Okay? The options are as follows. Allow me to read them out here. <clears throat> Serious Sam 4, I Am Fish, The Forbidden City's Final Ending, which actually takes about two hours to do. The Outer Wilds, and One Piece Pirate Warriors 4. Now, I'm cool with any of those. Any of those sound good to me. We started all of them, and I actually liked all of them. So any of those would be entertaining. Right now, in the lead by a good amount, about 10% of the voting, is The Outer Wilds. Now, The Outer Wilds is a game where you're exploring space, and you're going to different planets and, and seeing different kinds of uh, weather, uh, different kinds of puzzles and things to do. It's kind of like this ongoing mystery. You go from each planet trying to figure out what's going on. But then after like 10 to 15 minutes of playing, the whole thing goes supernova. You re you revive, and it starts over. So in a course of, say, an hour, you're going to end up dying two to three times trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, I played this, I think I want to say, for about an hour to an hour and a half in a previous... Uh, I think it was in a marathon and a night stream or something like that. Uh, I didn't get too far, but I did start to unlock some of the secrets... And I started getting ideas of where to go and what to do on these various planets. Um, and then I didn't play it for like two, three months. So if Outer Wilds wins, I'm, t I'm cool with that. But what I would hope is that people who maybe know more about the game would attend and help me out. Because it is a very cryptic game and it doesn't really help you that much. <clears throat> it definitely uh, needs a little bit of guidance, alright? So, I'm excited to see if this wins. It might not. I mean, the poll just went live this morning. So, right now, you know, there's not even a thousand people who have voted yet. Um, there very well could be a big flipping of the uh, polls over the course of the next couple of days. we got the rest of today, all of tomorrow, and half of Monday. So let's see how you guys vote. I'd be cool again with any of them. Outer Wild sounds good to me. That is definitely a chill stream style game. Just to, I'll need a little bit of guidance of you know where to go and what I'm looking for. But uh, I'm down for that. So let's see how it goes. Remember to vote. Main channel page of DSP Gaming, community tab. Please vote. Your vote's very important to help us determine what we're doing Monday night. Now here's the thing. Whatever wins Monday night, we're playing for Monday night's late stream. But <clears throat> then, a new poll is going to go live, again, on the community tab of DSP Gaming. And that new poll will determine the next game to be played, and it will not be 
whatever wins the poll the first time. We're going to variate. We're going to alternate. We're going to have variety on the late streams. So between the Skyrim after, uh, after Hours streams, there will be different Game Pass games being played. And by the way, I know that in these five games that I listed, there's still a few there that kind of I started and are kind of left out. So those games will have opportunity to be played. One example would be Quake, okay? Um, so there you go. Please vote. Curious to see where it ends up after many days uh, of voting. Because right now, we, it's literally only been live since 11 this morning. So about eight hours, right? Okay, cool. All right, uh, time for shout-outs. I got one shout-out. <laughs> the shout-out is for Young Sinatra who just became a channel member. That looks like a fresh one. So it looks like that's going to get us up to 369. What sucks is that we were up to 372 earlier today. I went on break, come back, and we lost you some. You want to play the People who did not auto-renew their memberships during the break. Maybe they'll renew them now. That would be great. If not, we're still trying to push towards the 400 members to do the special event. Please consider becoming a member if you're not. Helps the channel, and it, hint, it makes hint, special hint. fun events happen. I'm actually really excited about doing this special event, but... This could be the third month in a row where it doesn't happen because we don't get a simple arbitrary uh, membership goal. All right, I'm just trying to think if there's any other odds and ends. Tomorrow, by the way, it's going to be Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga on the first stream. And that's going to be uh, going through the Phantom Menace uh, movie of the prequels. And then tomorrow night, it is Skyrim After Hours. We're going to finish up the Dark Brotherhood plotline. Okay, oh, And on Monday... It. It's going to be more Elden Ring Endgame. We are up against one of the hardest bosses in the game right now. And I made some pretty good progress figuring out how to beat him. And I ran out of time and couldn't keep reapplying myself to fighting him. That's, that's frustrating when you're making progress. You're like, yes, I might do it. Shit, I'm out of time to, for today. Now i got to wait a couple days to do it again. So that's going to be on Monday. And then Monday oh, night wow. is obviously the game that you guys are polling for. Okay? <clears throat> All right, are we good? Uh... I'm just trying to think if there's anything else. No, I think I covered everything now. So let me get my headset on. Let's get started. All right. <clears throat> I hope we get more people. I don't know. Usually when we play Kirby, we get between 150 to 200. Right now we've got 107. I don't know why so low. It's the conclusion. I mean, it's this low. I don't know. <laughs> Hello, Philip Jordan Baxter. How you doing? Today's been incredibly slow. Okay. Grab some oh, salt. My headphones. There we go. Okay. You guys ready? The big finale. Load on. <laughs> okay, here we go. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. After an epic 20 hours or so and some really so fun asshole, gameplay is like time tonight asshole, you're gonna be to showing finish the up Kirby in the Forgotten Land. We've got one major session left here because we got one boss slash final That's stage to do little kitty shit. in these post-game stages and then after that apparently there's a little bit more content before the true ending I'm excited to see what that's going to be all right so one thing i should probably do if i'm going to prepare here i think you can buy an item to give you more health no that just see that um uh, that recovers your health i thought that someone said there was an item you can buy no someone said there was an item you could buy that doubles your health i don't know though what, maybe you don't do buy do? it. Maybe you have to um, you have to do the sleep. I have the sleep ability. Cause these. Oh wait, here it is. This must be it right here. <clears throat> yep. Waddle D support shop. There it is. So now you can use it whenever. I mean, I could use it right now. Why wouldn't I use it right now? Duh. Alright, and I'm not going to get an extra. I just want to stick with what I got. So this is the final boss. Uh, well, it might be the final boss, but apparently there's post-game content, and I don't know what it is, so maybe it's not the final boss. This game just keeps going. Every time you think it's over, some more stuff happens, right? Okay, so, I mean, there's not much else to say. I think it's time to head to the final area, right? Shout out to Game Tracker, who started off tonight with the first tip of $5. It's just finale time. I want to see you through the final stage. Without ice or sword. Should be a challenge, but not too tough. I'm going to go with nothing right now. Uh, you can use whatever you want for the super duper ultra mega trial that unlocks afterward. All right, so there's apparently a crazy challenging trial afterward. So thank you, Game Are Tracker. Are you a functional retard? I have to ask. For the $5 tip, I screwed up. 
There we go. <laughs> okay. I need th that money. I really do. I need that money to pay All my right. bills. So here we go. Let's head towards the final stage. It's glowing. You see it in the background. <laughs> So I think Andy Dick is a good actor. I don't know if I've really seen him act that much. I think I've only seen him uh, on like a few television shows and stuff, more reality style shows than actually like an, as an actor in a movie. So I don't know. So here it is, Forgo Land. Originally, what ended up happening was when you beat World Six, which was the Lava Land back here, the, it actually just took you right into World Seven without any delay. Uh, and you ended up meeting with this lion, anthropomorphic lion guy who said he was basically the leader of Earth after the humans disappeared. And uh, he was in contact with this alien, and you fight him, then the alien possesses him, you fight the possessed version, then you fight the alien itself, then the alien uh, mutates. It's a pretty crazy fight. And if this is going to be the same fight, it could be quite challenging. Especially because this is the post-game version, so it's going to be like way harder than the original. Young I'm Sinatra. This is a super chat saying, would I consider MLB the show 22? Yes, I actually talked about this. I said, we will consider it later this week. I didn't want to consider it for the first time. The only reason being, because there's a lot of Game Pass games that I started earlier this year that I really liked, and I wanted to continue on with at least one or more of those before we started taking on more new stuff. And MLB would obviously be something new. Uh, what we will do is we will add MLB to the polls later this week and see if people vote for it or not. So there you go. All right, you guys ready? MLB isn't on PC? Hmm, I didn't know that. I knew it was obviously on, on PlayStation and on, uh, on Xbox. I did not know it was not on PC. So here we go again. Going in here with no ability. Good evening, Nick. There he is, and we don't have any abilities. I guess I have to beat him with stars. Holy shit, that's going to be hard. Uh, okay. No abilities in the room. <clears throat> will it be the same fight, or will it be different? The alien's missing, which is good. Uh. Oh, he danced with you? <laughs> no, uh-oh. The alien mind control is still, still potent here, it looks like. Possessed Beast for Leon. Special delivery! <laughs> Special delivery! <laughs> Give me, okay, buzzsaw. Let's try buzzsaw. Whoa, already got hit. Some of the bitch. Oh god. Super chat, he says, can you believe there's another Lego game coming out already? There is? There's a second Lego game coming out? What are you talking about? There's another form. Okay. Jesus, lightning. Oh, no, there's lightning shockwave. Holy crap. I lost my ability. Where is it? There. What happened? 
I don't know what happened. He, like, launched, which I didn't tell him to do. Weird. Okay. Oh, no, there's fire trails. All right, this is really hard compared to the original. He's not only he's using fire trails and uh, shockwaves. Oh, my God. Okay. He's fired. I got a dodge. Okay, good. Rocks. Okay, again. The, look, they're missing. All the blades went right through his body. What do I do? Damn it. Now what? This is different. Time to dodge. I still got hit. Oh my god, I can't get to my ability! Seriously? Business related, I can't have it. I can't- Oh, you can't dodge through it either? Wow, it's hard. I dodge, I still got- Yeah, I'm getting hit a lot, and I don't know why, because I don't swear I'm dodging. Seems like the, they, they just made it, like, ridiculously hard compared to anything else in the game so far. I can't even, I can't get my ability. I've been trying the whole time. <laughs> oh my god! The alien's hitting me too! They're just filling the screen with shit. What do I do? I don't even know what just happened. He's attacking with the air combo. I don't even know how to do that with the blade. I have no clue how to activate that. Oh! Oh, dodge! I still got hit. He's about to die. Is that it? Good lord, that was way harder than the original for sure. He had two, two completely different forms. We're still not done? Oh my god. Soul Forgo. What now? The hell? What's up, Slayer? Good evening. What the hell is this? A completely different enemy. Meta Knight? Morpho Knight? What the fuck? I really don't like this! Feel your levels rising. Yeah, I'm doing a combo. I don't even know how that combo works. I don't want it. Oh no! Wow. I don't know the openings to hit him. I'm definitely gonna have to do this over. This is crazy. What a crazy fight. Look, it's following me everywhere. Where'd he go? Oh, shit. Oh, my lord. I tried to dodge through it, and nothing happened. I got hit anyway. Yeesh. It's very odd because sometimes the dodge works perfectly and other times you just get hit by whatever is attacking. It's not clear when the dodge is really invincible. Up to this point, the dodge has almost been purely invincible. Now it's not anymore. So, right, so now they give you more options. They give you ice. The tornado would suck. What, what do and I you know do? what? The bomb. Okay, the maybe the bombs would be good. I'm gonna try the bombs this time. Okay. Oh really? I'm being told Morpho Knight first appeared in a game called Kirby Star Allies, the other mainline Kirby game on the Switch. Oh, all right. So here's a direct a direct line to the other game that was released on Switch. Interestingly enough, why the hell did Meta Knight even show up in this fight, right? Like, what the hell did he have to do with it? Nothing. Oh. He's here out of nowhere. Completely different from the first oh. boss fight. What was for dinner? Oh. My wife's breaded baked oh. chicken thighs with... um with corn and mashed potatoes. 
Wait, what? Oh, we get to start right here? Oh! We don't have to freaking... Oh, this is good. Oh. Just gotta dodge through everything. Soulmates. Well, I certainly I'm happy that I get to fight the Metamorpho Knight right away. The downside of this is uh, I don't get my double health bars anymore, right? Oh, this is hard. Holy crap, man. He keeps teleporting above me. See that? I'm not sure if this is doing any more damage to the blades or if the blades are doing more. It's hard to tell. So he's turning invisible. He's not he's not teleporting, he's actually going invisible. And the bombs are actually hitting him. Oh, see that? I can't dodge the flames. The flames hit me no matter what. And that is frustrating. Oh. Well, I'm doing good damage, I could have just man, complained all night take a while to kill him. Ooh. Oh shit. Now here's the flame. I don't know what to do. I just gotta get out of the way, I guess. Yeah, there you go. That's my chance to hit him a lot. I get around the flame. It's kind of frozen in place. See that? Ooh, oh, we staggered him. Uh oh, second form now. Oh, this is not good. He's got dual swords. Come on now! Yikes! What, what do I do? Okay, I think his swords ran oh. out, but now the problem is he's in my face. What the hell? How am I supposed to fight him like this? Are you serious? I can't control Kirby. I can't see anything. What is happening? I don't even know where I am. And now my eyes burning. It's very bad. Ah, my eyes burning. Ah! Ah, my eye! Ah! Okay. No! Not him! Ah! Oh my god, I'm trying to dodge! Woo! The homie bomb's coming very really handy. Wow! I can't see my eyes burning again. Ah! Ah! No, not the flames. Don't do the flames. Don't do the flames. I don't know what to do to the flames. Oh, I went over them. Beautiful. I finally got around. Get away. I was doing it again. Oh, I'm supposed to jump over it. Where is he? No, Can't I'm see him. My eyes burning. Oh, my eyes burning again. Ah. Uh. No. Yo, yo, yo. What's happening? Where am I? No, not again. I can't see. No, this is not fair. I can't see anything. Oh, this is really bad. It still hit me. There's nothing I could do. I couldn't control my character, man. This sucks. We're at the end. No, I'm gonna die. That's it. It's over. I can't get out of the way now. I need those. This sucks. I gotta do really over. Do. I need that money. You kept working in the fucking those. camera on me. Yeah, look. I'm gonna die right now. Yep. That sucks, man. I had it to the very end, and he keeps rotating the camera. You can't see where you are. 
to dodge the fire. Oh my god. All right, definitely, definitely the bomb is the way to go. But I need my eyes to stop burning. It started burning out of nowhere in the middle of the fight. Like, how am I supposed to keep track of everything going on when I can't see? Ah! Ah! Ghost perhaps asking me about what kind of buns I use with my hot dogs. Maybe now is not the best time to ask. I'm a little busy. I don't know if you noticed. I'm in a really hard boss fight. Uh, I'm not really thinking about hot dog buns. Probably not the right time. Maybe a little after. <laughs> okay. All right. Thanks. It's rising to uh, toxicity. Oh, I dodged through it that time? No, I still got it. I didn't do damage. I can't tell. Oh, shit. Oh, dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay. There you go. Shit. Other side. Oh, not the flames. I gotta get around the flames. Good. That was a good chunk of damage right there. there go. Oh, he got me with the fast slash. Son of a bitch. See, if he does regular slash here, it's fine. If he starts throwing the flames up, so oh boy. Okay, I got over. Good. Last time he did a ring of flames, I was like, oh, I'm so screwed. I don't know. I don't know how to get over those flames. I tried everything. I can't seem to do it. He missed. No topsy turvy. Dodge, 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 dodge. Yes. He missed the topsy turvy one more time. Yes. No topsy turvy. Beautiful. I stopped it. Oh, shit. I still, he always gets me with that fast slash. Flame, can I get around? Can I get around? Oh, nope. I can't get around. Shit. Wow, I did like no damage. Are you serious? Just stop the bombs. It's very annoying. Yeah, they interrupt the bombs. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay. Woo! What's this? Oh, this again. What? I definitely did the side dodge. I got hit anyway. This one, I don't know how to dodge. Okay, I got away from it. Did I get him? I got him. Wow, that was hard. That was that was seriously Dark Souls. It's been pretty slow. I'm not even kidding. With all the phases and everything, that was crazy. That was awesome but and crazy and... Woo! Fun. At least they let you start in the middle. There was a checkpoint.
to fight the true and final boss and I have to fight all the forms of Leon Gar again. <clears throat> all right. How's my eye feeling now? It was burning bad. It stopped for that second time, thank God. Morpho Knight Sword. So now you have even better than Meta Knight Sword. You have Morpho Knight Sword. Damn. What's the point, though? Because no, there must be post-game challenges. Yep. So, to answer Ghost's question, I've had potato buns before, usually never with a hot dog. I do. I think they would be good with a hot dog, but not often. Usually just a regular, a regular bun. Nothing special. What happened? Yes, all the animals. <laughs> oh, ooh, I gotta eat it. I gotta eat it. They're gonna I give some the of their soul oh, power food. to revive Leon Gar. <clears throat> Even though it means ruining their credit scores for life, it's okay. If it means Leon Gar can live, it doesn't matter if they'll never get a bank loan ever again. There you go. Can someone please shut up this dude who's all being about a, the greater a moron? good? <clears throat> yes! He's alive! Aslan, oh I mean Leon Gar, is alive! <laughs> yes! Yes! Stop this! Very nice. How often do we change Jasper's litter box? But every five, ten minutes or so. Very arduous process. So now, we get the true ending. I think, maybe. Is this the true ending or is there, there another ending? There might be another ending. Snort, snort. We have to hear the song again. This is cool, it's a different ending credit scene because this is him getting all the souls. Which this was not the original credit scene. So this is a different credit scene altogether. Look, yeah. Yes, they said that you're a gay boy. And that we're gonna make love to each other tonight. The second credits. Could there be a third credits? I don't know. Is it clear that Kirby ever escapes? I love. It's not clear, right? I don't know if he ever escaped the world or not. Yeah. Because he's there with all the, the creatures from the other world. Did they come to his world? Did he go to theirs? Did the, the worlds merge into one? I don't know. It's not clear. Maybe there was actually some uh, some text in the game to explain some things. <laughs> it's not explained. Yeah. We're still not done, apparently. Game Drinker says Elphalin has created a portal between worlds you can talk about in town, and it'll give lore. Okay. Someone please shut up this dude who's being a, a moron. Face your fears and you'll hunger for more. Remember that. You'll hunger for more fears. What? <laughs> the Ziggy Piggy is here. Yeah, 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 yeah. My laugh sounds like act, act, act. So when I laugh and I go, <laughs> or, <laughs> that la, like, la, 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 I wish I could sing like this. Maybe I can. Hold on. Wild, just let the heart take the wheel and show you the way. Fresh spring breeze. Stop this. Ah. Uh, Play the fucking game. La 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 la. There you go. Here, listen to my beautiful singing voice. La 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 la. <coughs> oh my god, I kicked up joking. 
I seriously <laughs> cannot stop joking today. Oh my god. Ugh. Ugh. What the fuck? <laughs> <Ugh. sighs> Hold on. I'm gonna clear up, I swear. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Ugh. <clears throat> okay, it's actually starting to feel better now. <clears throat> Oh, no, you didn't, you motherfucking piece of shit cocksucker. Mark my fucking words. I'm coming for you. I'm going to find out who the fuck you are. What now? You motherfucker. Oh, my God, you, you got to be kidding me. fucked. Let this be noticed live on the internet. No way. You're fucked. Another Coliseum? You done. The ultimate test of skill, ultimate cup Z. Like Dragon Ball Z, Ultimate Cup Z. Oh my god. Alright. Holy sh Testicle Tuesday. And it's only Saturday. <clears throat> Alright, we can evolve the sword. Let's do it. No, I've never ridden a horses or gone to an outpost. I don't even know what an outpost is. The Waddledees in town chipped in and had star coins delivered to your house. If you lose a whole lot of star coins during your adventure, the Waddledees hope you would gain roughly half of that lost amount. They're so sweet. So I got 250 star coins. That's it? That's it. He doesn't talk anymore. I think the lore... I think I missed out on the lore. I think there was supposed to be lore and I didn't talk to him, so now I don't get the lore. Great. Well, let's upgrade the sword. Let's see here. The final upgrade in the game, right? Morpho Knight Sword Blueprint. All right. <clears throat> Thanks for waiting. The sword cannot be evolved to Morpho Knight Sword. It costs how much? I have just enough stars. This is perfect. Look at the power and the rap. Oh my god. Look at the power and the rapid fire on this sucker. Let's do it. Okay. Boom. Morpho Knight. With epic music, too. <laughs> the evolution over the new treasure road portal. A new treasure road portal. We can do a new treasure road challenge. Wait a second, and we finally evolved all your copy abilities? That's amazing to think a humble engineer like me could build every single one of them. I'm honored. I want you to have a special figure. Consider a cute collectible token of my appreciation. <clears throat> there it is. Weapon Shop Waddle Dee. This energetic craftsman opened his own weapon shop in town. He can power up your copy abilities. All he needs is a blueprint, his trusty hammer, and a little bit of elbow grease. He keeps making the Today's been incredibly slow. bigger than the one before. That's how you know that they're more powerful. Oh boy! All right, let's try this sucker out, man. I need th that money. I really do. Here's I need the that regular money. combo. Bills. It's all on fire, and it does a spin that hits all around every direction. It even hits your your friend Elphalin. Look at that. Now, if you hold it, Ultimo slam with a giant fire tornado that does insane oh, damage. No, that is wild how much oh, damage no. that does. What about this level two? Oh, okay, what about level one? Level one is just a spin. She has a sink. What the hell? She's smart. She's a school and a sink. Okay, that's the level two spin. It's faster, more, and more range, and fire damage. She's safe. And level three is the giant sword. Oh, oh, no. Oh. Now, you also do this. Yes. But it's different. So now you do slide, launch, and then a slam. Oh, Lord. Look at the damage. Slide, upper, slam. Slide, slam. So slam. <laughs> slide, upper, slam. Slide, upper, slam. slam. So what I'm seeing is two things. If you do the regular, you slide, upper, and then it's an aerial attack slam. But... If you charge the sword, watch this. You do this sword ability. Now your sword is huge for a while. Look. So it's all added damage. If you can do the maximum attack, even this, this, look. Boom. 
Oh my god, so that's crazy. That's why it's called Morphosaur, because your sword morphs into a larger sword. That's pretty crazy. So, Game Trekker just did a whopping three tips in a row. Let's read what he has to say. First tip, he says, Morpho Night Sword's incredible. It's between either this or Blizzard Ice for the final challenge, in my opinion. Morpho Night Sword has a gazillion attacks, though it can't use Meta Night Sword's crazy flurry air attack. I'll are. go over them in two more tips. Oh, Morpho Night Sword oh, cool. fires beams when you have at least 100% health. Okay. Meaning, double max health helps you keep this. You can temporarily make the sword bigger with a full three-stage attack, which deals huge damage. That's what we just saw. And there's the beans he's talking about, but only when you have full health. Okay. Then he says, Morbid Ice Sword also heals you slightly as you deal damage. Also, if you hold a shoulder button and attack, you get even more attacks. And it can be done in the air. What the shit? Look at this! Whoa! Blah You can teleport just like he could in the boss fight. You hold block, you double tap, you teleport. Whoa, that's cool. That'll get you out of stuff. That'll definitely get you out of attacks, right? And then yeah, here's the charge attack. It's the homing aliens. And they come after, look, they come after him. Homing aliens. Ha <laughs> spin. All right, so. Oh, there it is, look. That's the air attack. So how did I do that? Okay, you have to hold block and hold, hold that release. Miserable. Now, that was the move that reversed There's my controls. Miserable. I can't imagine what that's going to do to enemies, though, right? He's got a million attacks with this. All right, so that's another... Thank you so much, Game Checker. Another $15 in tips. Give us up to $20 in tips tonight. So I guess first thing we should do, we should go do the optional stage that opened up in the world map, and then we'll go and do the, the arena, and that's the true end of the game. All right. Holy crap, there's so much to this game. All right. So we got to go back to the world map, right? That's this way. Yep. <clears throat> Oh, my nose. So let me guess. This is the area to the far right of the map that I always was asking. I I knew it. I said, that's got to be something. And here it is. Finally, this, this far into the game. Sweet. All right, let's do it. Morpho Knight Sword Treasure. Probably the hardest one in the game, I bet. I don't know about what the hell snoofing, snoofing pamps means, snoof to pamps. Sorry. Wish I did. I don't know what you're talking about. Alright, this is just sick. It goes crazy, destroys everything. The only bummer is that they're all so far away, it's going to take a while to get to them. Even with this ability, it's going to take a while to get to them. Well, let's face it, they did this on purpose. Oh, come on, that's bullshit. You caught me out of midair? Dude, he, he just keeps grabbing you out of midair infinitely. What is this bullshit? Wow, you're gonna do five of these. I have half health. I can't, what am I supposed to do exactly? I can't even see where I am. This is ridiculous. What, what do I do? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty bad, actually. What do I do? He 
you get any health back at all? You never get any health back. You gotta be joking. You never get health back. What the hell? What the fuck? There's zero healing. Oh my god. I'm not beating this. I don't know what's going on. Why am I? Where am I? I don't know what's going on. I can't see. Wow. Atrociously bad. Still have a tiny bit of health. Oh. The ability itself heals you slightly. Yeah, very little. I got tons of health back fighting them. I got tons. Okay. What's up, Jim the Frog? Good evening. Welcome to the Ultimate Kirby Challenge Run. <clears throat> wow, what a moron. Maybe you shouldn't have just stood still. Paid attention, dumbass. See where I was. Got him. I couldn't even see where I was. I had passed through him. <laughs> yes, Jim the Frogger, this is the final sword in the game. We did it. We beat we beat the final secret boss and you unlocked this insane morpho sword. So then uh, you can do a challenge run for it, which I just beat it looks like. Alright. I don't know what you're supposed to use this for when you've probably already gotten all the upgrades in the game. And I did it in the target time, too. Wow. Sweet. Very nice. That healing is tremendous. If that didn't heal, there's no way I would have beaten that. But the healing made it uh, viable. Morpho Meta Knight Sword. Morpho Knight Sword Treasure. All right, that's it. Now all we have left is the final arena. Holy moly. That was the final challenge run in the game. Now there's a arena gauntlet, and that's the end of the game. So Game Tracker just sent me five dollars at the Ultimate Cup Z because the Ultimate Cup isn't enough. I'm gonna be straight with you. This shit is so hard. I can't guarantee you'll be able to beat it since you just have this stream, and I have two upcoming tips and tips regarding this. Oh, okay. Well, first thing I'll tell you right now. First thing I'm gonna do is get the double health. Sounds like the double health is key for this. So I'm gonna go do that right now. Are you a functional retard? I have to ask. I get the feeling there's not a third ending after it, right? You probably aren't going to get a third ending after doing it, so... Okay, we'll buy it, we'll use it. <clears throat> now, wait a minute, can I buy another one? Yes, you can have two! So, I'm going to have the double, and if I lose the double health, I'm going to use the item again in the gauntlet. There you go. Very nice. So, Game Trigger did another $5 tip to say, to say, the Ultimate Cup is pretty much... Oh, he says it's 12 fights, all post-game bosses, but wait, how could that be if there weren't 12 post-game bosses? There's multiple unique bosses only found in the challenge, and they're the hardest in the game. Oh my god. 
And he says the ultimate cup is used exactly as messed up as you'd expect. It gives you less healing items than other cups. I definitely recommend buying the double max health plus a reserve of it. And that's what I just did. All right. So thank you for another $10 in Tibbs Game Tracker. Yikes. This is going to be the ultimate challenge of Kirby right now. Let's see if we can do it. Here we go. Have you wondered why the Beast Pack stopped attacking and left the town alone? You certainly helped when you arrived, Kirby, but the Waddle Dees told me Meta Knight has been fighting to protect the town all on his own. He keeps watch day and night, and he's doing it right now from his perch. Meta Knight is so strong and cool. <laughs> yeah, well, I got his ability. All right, it's time, guys. Let's do this. All right, here we go. Oh, man. Ultimate Cup Z. I should warn you about Ultimate Cup Z. The Ultimate Cup Z takes place in another realm where you fight intense battles with scary foes. Can't follow you in that arena. Worse than that, I can't commentate okay. over your battles. But Fair I know enough. you'll survive. I know you'll, that you'll right. win. After all, you saved the entire world. We're going to give it a shot. I'll try a few times. If I can't beat it tonight, that's okay. Maybe one day we'll go back to it. I obviously don't want to beat I don't want to do this for a whole hour and a half. But let's see. I'm going to keep the sword. Screw that. Why wouldn't I keep the sword, right? It's going to give me auto healing. Damn, even the music's crazy right now. Where did it go? Oh my god, that's not good. What? I tried to dodge right here, it didn't work. get the health like i don't know exactly what triggers healing with this ability it's sometimes i just get it but i'm not sure what <clears throat> okay well i gotta heal so you're repealed and that's it because you're just gonna waste our time again Well, the level 2 spin is crazy good. You see how much damage it did? That was a friggin' mess. <laughs> I kind of don't want to use all the healing unless I need it, so... Okay. Miserable. Keep going. Just miserable.
It's been pretty slow. It's Super Hound's fault. Oh, he's doing body splashes. It's Tevin's fault. I was gonna do this uh, shooting what, what shit, do right? I do? Teleport right through, sweet. I'm trying to dodge, it's not working, it's being stupid. Wow, he's fast. Interrupted somehow with a regular slam. What is going on? I can't even see. I don't even know what happened. I couldn't see anything. See it? Holy shit. That was a quick one. That was a real quick one. Uh, shout out for a $20 anonymous tip. Someone says, I will tip from now on. Sorry for not doing so before. Just so you know, I'm supporting the awesome what? chill streams. My friends stay blessed during the Easter holiday. Thank you. Whoever that may be, thank you for the anonymous tip, whoever that was. I appreciate that very much. Let's get that up on the leaderboard. What, what do I do? The biggest single tip of the night. Of course. Game Checker's been tipping all night. She so used the biggest individual tipper of the night. Well, awesome. Now we got the glasses. Sweet. Kevin says it was him. Thank you, Kevin. Why did why did you make it an anonymous thing? I appreciate that if that was you, Kevin, but I don't you don't have to make it anonymous if you're just gonna say it was you. <laughs> okay. You need to use anonymous, there's no way around it. Oh. Alright. Fair enough. Fair enough. Thank you for the tip. Okay. All right. Whoever it was, because I don't actually know who it was, so thank you. Whoever the anonymous tipper was doesn't really matter. He did it anonymously, so. Okay. All right, let's continue. Keep going. Who's next? Eight to go. Look who it is. It's our buddy. Now I gotta get through a maze. Once it started hitting, it did insane damage, but the problem is he had a stupid maze. Took away my health. It's annoying. Okay. Seven more to go. Keep it moving. Do I like Neapolitan style pizza? I don't know if I've ever had Neapolitan style pizza. What is it? Uh. 
well. This is certainly easy. by far you have to do nothing really just dodge and slash there you go all right six to go jesus Die so I can fight the next guy, please. Oh, there was no next guy. <laughs> okay. Five to go. We're doing it. We're absolutely doing it. Regular Meta Knight. No Illusion Meta Knight. Oh, cool. I can't see. Where am I? I can't. Yo, it's crazy. I can't see anything. Yeah, this sucks, but I can't. Do you want to play the fucking game? Whoa, shit. Okay. Sucks, I lost my health bar. Son of a bitch. It was hard because I didn't know what he was gonna do. There's some different abilities for sure. Alright, so I guess we're gonna go for the double. There we go. Four to go. Form two, right? Yep. What? I couldn't. That is bullshit.
Got him. Oh. No more DDD. Oh, a chest. Money. <laughs> use some money. There's zero use for money. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. All right, we're going to go with this. Three left. Wow. Bullshit. I don't know what I can do. I'm stuck in the air. Come on, man. Get over there. I didn't even want that. What the fuck? It's only one four. Fuck. I'm gonna do this. I need more health. Holy shit. Wow, I wasn't expected to do that. More money. Two to go. Hmm. The reason I'm ignoring chat is because a bunch of people seem to be arguing with each other and not talking about the game and paying no attention. So I'm going to have fun with the game. You guys enjoy if you want to watch. Oh, I do. I'm paying no attention to idiots in the chat. I'm just not going to waste my time. Why address anyone in the chat when they're all arguing drama in circles and shit, acting like fucking 10 year olds? I'm just not bothering with it. Sorry. I have better things to do, I'm guys. Toxic. All right. Oh, fuck it. Okay. Two to go. No, Slayer, I agree. These areas do not seem like they're for kids because they're so hard. He fucking interrupted me. Great. I was in the air for some reason. I didn't want to be. So I can't dodge if I'm in the air. Okay. I have no healing. That's the bummer. I have no healing. 
<clears throat> now the true final boss? Probably. Probably the alien again. The true alien. Yup. And I have no healing. Oh, a cherry? Give me that cherry. I got a little, a tiny bit of healing. A tiny bit. <laughs> Alright, this is it. This is the end of the game, guys. This is the final fight in the whole game. It is the alien. Second version. Apparently way harder than the original. Sadly, I don't have any healing left. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Whew. <clears throat> All right. Seriously, let's do it, man. <laughs> let's do it. Everyone's cheering me on right now. Let's do it. Let's end Kirby in high style, man. Shit, this is going to be tough. I know it is. Okay. Thank you, Clay JT, for re upping your membership. He's winning for I Am Fish for Monday. Yeah, it's a completely different color. How dumb they are. Probably the true alien. Species born of chaos, Chaos Ephilis. Sounds like act, act, act. <clears throat> so when I laugh, I go, ha, 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 ha. or ha, 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 ha. Does that sound like act, 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 act? No, it sounds nothing like that at all. Second form.
teleporter. Where'd he go? Where's my sword? I don't know where my sword is. It's gone. Where'd the sword go? Yo, the sword disappeared? Give it back. Holy shit. That was bad. I don't know what happened. What, what do I do? Grow up. What, what do I do? Almost! Is there another form? Oh my god, look at this! <laughs> oh my god! Oh! Damn! It's still not over? Oh my god! What? Oh no! Wow. What do I do to this thing? What, what do I do? Wow, look at the chunk of hell. What am I supposed to do? Come on. Dude, I don't know, this is bullshit. Complete bullshit.
What? I don't even know what happened. See, this sucks. This is ridiculous. No, I'm done. That's it. I can't get away. I can't get away. There's nothing you can do. Oh, that's fucking bullshit. That is bullshit. There's no way to escape it. Come on. There's no way to escape it. This sucks. Retry from Battle 12? What? You have to do the whole thing over. No checkpoints. I'm not doing it over. It's, it's like a 20 minute fight. There's no point. Because <laughs> they're not they're gonna take away all my stuff. I'm not gonna have the second I'm not gonna have the second bar. Watch. If I don't have the second health bar, I'm not doing it. I give up. No, there's no point. It's over. Yeah, I'm done with this. <laughs> nah, that's a, that's enough, man. That's enough of that. That's absolutely ridiculous. I don't have the second health bar. There's no way I can fucking do it. It's impossible. Wow. Yeah. Without the second health bar, I can't do it. They make you start the whole fight over. It's impossible. <sighs> that is bullshit. That's so lame. It's too long of a boss fight to have to redo it from the start, and then you don't even have the power-ups you started with? What were they thinking? You can't ever do the charge attack either. That's the other one. You can't ever do it. Never. Because he's always going to hit you out of it. Yeah, forget it. Yeah, it's just, I don't want to. I seriously don't even want to do it anymore. Because it's not a fair fight. I don't want to do this all over. This is boring. It's too long of a boss to have to do over without your power ups. Nah, I'm going to give up. Uh, stupid. This pisses me off. I can't even get my sword, dude. Come on, I don't want to do this. I really don't. This is very badly made that you have to do it like this. The fucking the final form of the boss shouldn't have an instant grab. Where you can instantly grab, you can't get out of it, and he just takes take insane damage, and you can't do nothing about it. That's dumb. Takes too fucking long. We're doing this all fucking night. I don't want to do this. I seriously, this sucks. This is really stinks. The fight is too long to have to do over. Now second form. This is the boring part. You have to dodge forever. You almost never get to hit him. It takes too long. If I get down on my hands and knees and say thank you to be on camera, I would do it. the clones. Kick, where am I? What's going on? I didn't even know I was in the air. Oh my god, 
gosh, so too tedious. Look how tedious this is. Come on, man. This is only the first form. Fucking boring. Don't make me redo the whole thing. I dodge right there. Oh, no, I have no sword. I can't see. My sword's missing. Again, he runs away. Yo, it's so boring. Fucking stop with this. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that was fair. I couldn't even see. He teleports immediately with a big swipe. This is so bad. Five to ten minute fight just to get to the second form. With no checkpoint and no healing. Absolutely terrible. The game wants to be Dark Souls. So bad with this fight right now. This should totally be the end of it right here. This should not be. I have to do a second form fight. It's nuts. What, what do I do? Have some salt. Come on! Yo, it won't do it now! It wouldn't do it! It wouldn't do it! For no reason! What the fuck, man? Now I don't waste more time. This fucking sucks. Come on. It didn't do it. For no fucking reason. For no reason. Doing the same exact thing. Now it works. Terrible. It still gets you anyway. Fuck it. No, I'm, I don't care anymore. If I die, I'm, I'm not doing it again. If I die, I'm not doing it again. This is a waste of time. This is a waste of fucking time. Look how much damage he does! Fuck this! It's like, if I want to play Dark Souls, I'll fucking play Dark Souls. I don't need to play Kirby Souls. And every, every hit makes you lose your sword. Every hit. This sucks.
Wow. I can't this is garbage. It's, it's literally dude. It's literally Dark Souls and now that's it instant dead. I give up. Fuck this I'm done. That's it for Kirby. I'm not I'm not playing fucking Dark Souls when I'm playing Kirby The fucking game is full of shit. I'm not gonna waste my time with that. That actually genuinely 100% pisses me the fuck off You can't get your health back. There's no healing items during the fight it's an insanely long 10 to 20 minute fucking fight. And at the end, there's an unstoppable attack. It's two, twice in a row, I lose the same way. Fuck it. It's Kirby. It's not Dark Souls. It's not Elden Ring. It's not worth it. It's not. Are you a functional It's retard? seriously not ask. fucking worth it to do that. It's, I have to do the whole fight from the start again there. No, I'm not doing it again. I don't care. That's a waste of time. That, I understand it's the <laughs> ultimate challenge. You bought the game. I got fucking Elden Ring to play. I've been playing Elden Ring. It's stressful enough. The whole point of me playing Kirby is to try to un to relax, not to be. Oh, it's Dark Souls again. It's fucking Elden Ring again. Like what the fuck were they thinking with that? No healing, no checkpoints. Play for ten to twenty minutes to redo the whole fight, and you get to the end and the same shit. You can't dodge. Fuck this. That is incredibly stupid. That is really bad. Like. I didn't buy Kirby to play Dark Souls. It should have ended when you suck the soul out of his that form. That should be the end of the fight. Right there, that should be the end of the fight. Okay, you did it. That is terrible. What's sad is I love the game, except that fight. Like, I think everything in the game was actually really cool until that. That's really poorly made. That's like, torture the fucking gamer. That's like, really piss off the kid who bought it. That's what that fight is. Like, I'm going to sit there, and I'm going to fucking do that over and 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 over. Are you out of your mind? I am not be doing anything wrong. It's just that the, the final boss has tr every attack tracks. He has the ability to suck you in. I'm doing the dash to get away, and he sucks the dash oh, in and still hits me for 50% damage. It's fucking Kirby. It's like they forgot what game they were making. Like I said, earlier today, I was fighting tough-ass bosses in Elden Ring. I got a really tough boss I'm figuring out right now. We're at the end game. Do I want to waste my time in Kirby doing the same shit? Fuck no. This is Kirby. It's like they forgot what they were doing. <clears throat> Damn. All right, I'm done with it. Like, seriously, I have no, zero, absolutely, positively zero desire to go back and do that fight. I've done everything but that fight in the game. Great, good for them for putting a Dark Souls stat slash Elden Ring style boss in the fucking game and wasting that much of my time uh, trying to beat it. That genuinely pissed me off really bad tonight. Like that leaves that I don't want to say it leaves a bad taste in my mouth because overall I really like the game. Like overall I think that this is the best Kirby game. I like that they tried to at least go past a certain point. You know what I'm saying? Like, at least they okay. We're gonna push the limits of Kirby. We never made a Kirby this hard before. We're going to add in elements of other games. Like, if you look at Super Mario Odyssey, right? That definitely added in elements of other games. And I liked that about it. But when you were doing that, it didn't lose its identity. That completely lost its identity in that final fight. That is stupidity. I mean, really? You want me to actually be that angry over Kirby? You're actually going to make me get that upset because of Kirby? No. No, I don't want to be upset playing Kirby of all fucking games. That's the complete polar antithesis of why I bought Kirby. You know what I'm saying? That's just ridiculous. Expand Donk says the post-game fights are always that hard. Not Kirby's Epic Yarn. Kirby's Epic Yarn was nothing like that. And by the way, Kirby usually is not an action-based game like this. Like, <laughs> what, what do I do? Dude, Kirby's been platforming and other shit. I don't know how you think that, that it's like, like that. That's literally, that's Dark Souls light. That's like Dark Souls for kids. You know? No checkpoints. No healing. A boss that fucking sucks you in. You can't get away. You're dying. Okay, I'm going to keep dashing. Dashing out sucks me in anyway. 50% health lost. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Wow. All right. 
Well, since that's the end of my playthrough, okay, um, I'm gonna give it a re I'm gonna give it a mini review. Usually, I would give you a review during the credits, but the game had so many different credits, <laughs> right? That I'm gonna say this: I think the game is pretty darn good. I think it's the best Kirby game I've ever played. Now, keep in mind, I haven't played them all. I only played like three Kirby games. So, for me, what was it? Epic Yarn, Return to Dreamland, um. And then there was the other one. Was it the Rainbow Curse? Kirby and the Rainbow Curse? I think that was the last one I played. And then there's this one. So out of the four Kirby games, all right, absolutely this is the best one. This one has the most originality. It has a modernized, like, human world combined with Kirby, which is really neat. The puzzles are well done. The combat is interesting and fun, especially with the, the vast amount of abilities you can get. The fact that the game has RPG elements, right, where you can actually level up. The abilities, which is really neat. I liked that. You never, you know, in, in previous Kirby games, you didn't have the full-on RPG elements of this one. Like, never did you feel like this one. And it, it had so much content. Like, I didn't. I, I basically went for a full 100% right here, except for every item. I didn't get every collectible. But I did every, every challenge stage and everything. And the playthrough is essentially around 20, 21 hours. Not bad for a Kirby game. And a, a game like this, you know, when you get a game like this, you don't necessarily expect uh, a game like this to have this much content or this much challenge. The, the full playthrough up to the, the post game, right, is about eh, roughly 15 hours. And that's good. It's all original world, original bosses, a cool... Who expected that ending? Who expected an ending with aliens possessing creatures and doing all this crazy shit? You know what I'm saying? Um, That's just nuts. You know what I'm saying? That's absolutely nuts. <laughs> Um, pretty crazy, but still, even with that final boss being bullshit, with the final boss and the full boss call that, no, I'm not going to do it yet for a few hours. Not, like I said, it's not Elden Ring. It doesn't get me anything for beating it. You know what I'm saying? If I beat it in Elden Ring, I say, ah, oh, I beat every boss in Elden Ring. That was the and, oh, I beat the, the fucking the boss in Elden Ring. Here. <laughs> you know, really, that's what I mean. Like, I like the post-game content. It's, it's fun to the, to a point, but my God, that was messed up. If anything, if they were going to do that, that should have been the actual real final boss of the game, not in a, in a Coliseum challenge. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe if they had put that as the true final boss of the game with a checkpoint, that would have been fun. Fighting fighting the second form, the, the ball itself, from the beginning, that's okay. Actually having to do the whole first half of the boss first is a waste of my time, and I'm not wasting time on it. But I would basically say... uh. I liked it a lot. I, like I said, definitely my favorite, um, my favorite Kirby game of all time because it's kind of the best of both worlds. Great gameplay when it comes to gathering the upgrades, using the abilities to solve puzzles, the hidden items in there. The bosses are interesting. The worlds are all different and unique and well designed. And then after you beat it, if you want to, you get all this extra post game content, the, the, the Coliseum gauntlets, the post game stages that are much more tough. Um, Really, to me, it feels like Super Mario Odyssey, but it's Kirby. You know, this could have been called Kirby Odyssey. I kind of would have got out. It's like, ah, I get it. You see? Um, so I definitely like this a lot, and I, I enjoyed it. Sad that that was the final fight, because I don't want Elden Ring level bullshit gauntlet difficulty. I just don't. I want a Kirby fight. You know what I mean? Still, I definitely enjoyed it. I really enjoyed that, and I had a good time with it. It's just a shame that it came down to that. I really wanted to beat it. I'm like, dude, I'm not sitting here for another half an hour playing through this again and again and again and still no guarantee that I'm going to beat it. That would have been absolutely ridiculous. So, well, Game Trigger did a few final tips here. First one, he says, that was a thing that happened. What it's worth, I used the ability with a legit invincible shield to beat this, the giant sword. Its damage is much worse, but learning the patterns of being patient got me through. So basically, you just, you, you were using invincibility. And like you said, you weren't doing tons of damage, but it just, it was like a war of attrition. Right. Okay. They did another tip. He says, by the way, for the past decade or so, most Kirby games have an absurdly hard gauntlet at final challenge. Uh, honestly, this isn't the hardest one. That, that's just nuts. That's nuts because if I had known that's what I was getting into, I probably wouldn't have done it. I'll be honest. Like I, like I said, today, I was already... I'm already stressed out playing Elden Ring Endgame today, fighting some insanely tough bosses. And I'm like, all right, good. Uh, tonight, we can finish Kirby. We can have a relaxation. Tomorrow, I'm doing some Lego. This is good. Then I come back to it on Monday. I was not expecting it to be like that. That is fucking bullshit. I'm not going to sit here and redo that boss fight 10, 15 minutes long a million times to end it. That is stupid. That is just really bad. 
So I can say, outside of that boss fight, the game's amazing. I liked everything about the game. I, I don't really, the only negative, like I said, that I have to say about this game, the graphics, they the frame rate chugs because it's on the Switch. And it's frustrating because if, the, if it was a smooth 60 frames, I think that some of the combat would actually be easier. The problem is all of a sudden in the combat, it goes down to like sub 30 and you're like, now what's going on? I can't tell what's going on on the screen because the frame rate dipped because I'm playing on the Switch. My God, they really need, I mean this, Nintendo really needs to make a console that can handle Today's been the incredibly same kind slow. of gameplay that every other console has. Because I feel like this game would have been much better if it was better graphics, more lighting, and uh, and actual smooth 60 frames. And it's just not. It, it, it really struggles with the game. Um, and that's that's sad. The graphics themselves are beautiful when they work, when they're, when they're not chugging, you see? But it's just disappointing. Like, man, I wish that this game ran better. Any, you know, again, if Nintendo would make a more powerful console, holy shit, it would be so much better. I don't know what happened there. That, cause, cause you know what? Mario wasn't like that. Mario, uh, Odyssey was smoother. <clears throat> anyway, um, overall, amazing game. Overall, my favorite Kirby game. I loved it. Uh, as frustrated as I got at the end there, but I still had a ton of fun with it. I hope that you guys enjoyed it too. Um, but that is it. Do please do not ask me to go back and fight that again. That is <laughs> the thing is I know I would get right to the final boss again, no problem. It's the final boss that's the problem. And I don't want to sit there doing that over and over. So thank you guys for watching. Whether you watch this on stream all along for the past three plus weeks that I played it, whether you watched it on demand on YouTube, I appreciate that because I know it's not the most popular game. It was basically a lot of people wrote it off and say, ah, it's a kid's game. If anything, that ending proves that is not a kid's game if you're trying to do all the content in it. It's kind of the best of both worlds. Long-time fans of Kirby can like it because they get ultimate challenge, while people who are more casualized players will like it, kids will like it, everyone will like it. It's a really great game. Seriously, I really enjoyed it a lot, and I'm, I'm happy that I played it. Pretty good. <clears throat> okay. Did, were there some super chats? My bad. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there were a ton. So, Little Crow... Gaming did a super chat asking if it was going to be a 100% playthrough and then said, don't rage quit the patterns. Every game has it. Dude, and if, well, here's the funny part. His first super chat came in half an hour ago. Then his next one came in five minutes later. His next one came in 12 minutes later. And then, so you see what I'm saying? That final boss, I played him for a half an hour. I'm going to keep going? No, it's not Elden Ring. I'm not, I'm not wasting time like that. Last Frontier did a super chat and says, there should have been a checkpoint in the fight. Would it be possible for Miranda to get an unbanned? I don't know who Miranda is. And I can't unban people on the fly. Sadly, you can't do that on YouTube. Go, go, there's go, no way to go, unban go. people on Fatty the fly. Fat I wish there was, but there's not. Um, This person would have to email me with a link to their channel, to my email address, and then I can look into it. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen. There was a, what? There was a $1.50 tip, says Kevin. There was. Uh, No, there wasn't. There was no $1.50 tip. Kevin, so I don't know what you're talking about. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the playthrough. In particular, obviously, I have to give a ginormous shout out to Game Checker. Game Checker was here for every Kirby stream, and Game Checker absolutely Pardon positively me. was a humongous reason why I was able to do a full playthrough of this game like I did. You know, I wouldn't even have known about the post-game content if it wasn't for Game Tracker, you know? And that was so much. I'm glad that I was able to kind of pan, plan out how much there was because he was helping me along the way. So, obviously, I got to give a ginormous shout-out to him for supporting this uh, playthrough all along, okay? All right. That is it for Kirby and the Forgotten Land. What a game. Shockingly good. Surprisingly good. In fact, I, I would tell you right now, at least for now, and it is early in the year, a shoe in for, for probably going to be my game of the year countdown at the end of the year. Because uh, it was just that damn good. Never expected it to be that good. With the previous experiences I had with Kirby, I wasn't expecting it to actually be that good. So, awesome. Guys, thank you so much again. And, uh, peace out. All right. That's it for Kirby. Now we can chill. Now I just want to relax with you guys. Blah, 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 That shit got my blood pressure fucking all the way up. I got so angry. I don't, out of a game like this, like, this, you know what I mean? Like, why? I shouldn't be getting angry at this. I should just be able to play it and relax. That's the point of Kirby. It's like they missed the point at the end of the game. Like, ah, oh, here we go. Let's just pound your balls with a mallet over and over for the end of Kirby. This feels like a good experience, right? Right? No. No. I need to learn stress management. 
Kirby was my stress management. That's the point I'm making. Kirby literally was my stretch management. It was supposed it's to be Tevin's fun, fault. and all of a sudden it turns into that. I'm like, oh my god. <clears throat> okay. So, let me turn the switch off, and then we'll switch over here. And we'll do, do it's some quick Dark Dave's Q&A. fault. Uh, to end the night. And again, Game Tracker, thank you so much, man. I hope you're not too upset that no, I got uh, so upset. Uh, it's it is what it is. I, mean, fault. I, was, I seriously was not equipped for that. If I had known that that was going to be like that, I would have rearranged the streams, and I would have had it so I played Elden Ring and this on a different day. There's no way I can handle that much in one day. That's fucking nuts. That's just a crazy amount of stress. Okay. Um. Let me. Uh, let me get the switch off. Hold on. There's a sick motherfucker on the internet called Super Hound, whatever the fuck this idiot's name is. Holy shit. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let's uh, do some Q&A. Let's just start. I'm going to record this, by the way, because we've got about half an hour, right? I'll record it. Here we go. <clears throat> All right. So, ladies and gents, good evening. Random Q&A tonight. Because there's really uh, nothing else to do. I, I basically wrapped up my coverage of Kirby uh, and the Forgotten uh, Land. Super Rage qu quit ending. So now you can all talk about that. Uh, have all kinds of fun shit to talk about on the internet about that. I'm sure that'll be a big deal. YouTube Kirby mode on. Here. But anyway. um, <clears throat> Let's just do some random chill Q&A. Let's relax. Let's relax. Let's see what people have to talk about tonight. Okay? All right. Rusty Edwards says, what would I have changed about the ending of Kirby if I was the developer? Checkpoint. There should be a checkpoint at that, the final form. That's simple. I'm not going to talk about it at length because people who are watching this video randomly on YouTube don't know what I'm talking about. There needs to be a checkpoint at that last point. It's just dumb that there wasn't. <clears throat> any thoughts on weed marijuana? No, I really don't have any thoughts on weed marijuana. Um, I, you know, I, I smoked it when I was very young. You know, my, my late teens. Uh, and... Didn't really like it and never did it again. I have no my no laugh sounds like criticism ass, against ass, anyone ass. who does it unless go, you're wasting <laughs> your whole life doing it. <laughs> Sadly, I hate to say I knew a couple people like that. that like they started ass, smoking ass, weed ass, and ass, all of a sudden ass. they lost no. all discipline. Sounds nothing like that couldn't hold all. a job, just sat around smoking weed all day. That's not good. It's about everything in moderation. Same thing with drinking, same thing with everything. You're just sitting around doing it all the time, ruining your life. That's terrible. But it's the same with everything. It's not just weed, you know? So I don't think I don't think poorly of anyone who smokes weed. It's legal here in Washington State, so if people can legally do it, then go right ahead. I'm not going to sit here and criticize at Take all. Take that as you will. <clears throat> Ghost of Jays is Dying Light 2 coming back into the rotation. Uh, that's up to you guys. You guys seem to not want it. When I propose what I should start doing again once games are adjourning, number one, everyone's saying WWE 2K22, so that's next. <clears throat> Dying Light 2 is certainly a possibility because, because I own it. I played 15 hours of it. If you wanted to see it come back, I would, I would go back to it, but no one really seems to be demanding it, so. <clears throat> oh, let's see. Expand Donks, I hope you consider Mario Strikers in June and not made by the devs of Mario Golf and Mario Tennis. It's by the devs of Luigi's Mansion 3. They made the GameCube and Wii ones, too. I don't think I've ever played Mario Strikers, right? I don't think so. There's The last one was a, quite a long time ago. Uh, maybe I would consider it. Something different for June, for sure, because there's not a lot going on in June. <clears throat> An anonymous $5 tipper says, saying hi from within chat. What's your favorite thing that Jasper does? Saying hi from within chat? What the hell does that mean? <laughs> I don't know what that means. I think the favorite, my favorite things that Jasper does are the cute things. Like, like I'll give you an example. So this morning, Jasper wants to wake up. Okay, so what does he do? He bo always bothers Cat and I when we're in bed, we're sleeping, he wants to get us up. All right, so... My arm's right here on my right-hand side, okay? Jasper has woken up. He walks over to me. Of course, he's purring. He's trying to wake me up. Of course, I'm like, no, it's not time yet. It's not time yet, right? So I put my arm down, and he lays down right next to me on the bed. He puts his two feet on top of this part of my arm. He puts his hand on top of this part of my arm, and he stretches out his hand and touches the tip of my hand here. His entire body is, is lounging on top of my arm, and he starts to purr because he's trying to wake Say me goodbye. up. He's like, maybe if I touch him with every single extremity that I have, Phil will wake up today. And I'm like, I open my eyes. I'm like, oh my god! I like burst out laughing. He's such a nut. He's a, he's such a silly cat. 
I love that about him. That he he's a loving cat, but he's just so silly. He'll do those kind of things to get attention. He'll do silly things. He'll do cute things. And I love that. So that's probably the best thing I like about that. He's a fun-loving cat. You know, cats all have different personalities. Some cats are, they keep to themselves. Some cats are like, oh, I'm in charge of the house and you better serve me. But boy, I don't want to have any fun with you. Just keep away. Just, you know, give me food or whatever. Jasper is the social cat, the ultimate social cat. And that's really cool. <clears throat> okay. Do we give Jasper cat milk? We've given him that cat approved milk before. He didn't particularly like it. We bought it and gave it to him. He basically looked at it. Nah. Walked away. Didn't really care for it. Um, It's weird. He's a very picky cat. You give him certain things that cats should eat. Like, for example, you know how they have the cat food and cat treats that's chunky, but has like a gravy in it. He'll lick all the gravy and walk away and not eat a single chunk. He just wants the gravy. He gets all of his protein from his dry food. His dry food is a very high, dense protein, uh, high-grade dry food. It's more expensive than a regular dry food. It's actually way way more uh, recommended by, like, doctors than, say, you know, friskies or something like that. Um, so he gets tons of protein from that, and it seems like everything else is just kind of like a treat to casually eat. He doesn't really like a lot of other things that cats would normally eat. Do we celebrate Easter? Now I don't. No. When I was younger, I absolutely did with my family. I grew up, you know, in a Roman Catholic family, and every Easter we would celebrate. We'd go to Mass, and we'd come home, and we'd have a, a ham dinner, sometimes with, like, cheesy potatoes. My, my, my mom would make all kinds of stuff. Um, this Easter plate, which was different meats. It was, like, salami and brujot, and there was also cottage cheese, and there was a hard-boiled egg, and you would eat that as, like, an Easter treat platter. It was, like, a, like hors d'oeuvres, basically, like finger foods. You'd eat it for, like, lunch. And then she would make a spaghetti cake. I just talked about to her about this last night. Spaghetti cake. It's Italian. Boiled linguine. I don't know why I call it spaghetti cake. It's, it's like pasta cake. So it's linguine. Boiled. Like a pound of it. Or a pound and a half of it. Then you mix it in with a, a concoction of eggs, milk, and a few other things that make it almost like a, a thick tapioca. And then you put it all into a pan, a baking pan, and you add other things on top like sprinkled cinnamon and things like that. You bake it in the oven. You cut it into squares and eat it. It's clumps of pasta with like like tapioca pudding and stuff in it. It's very weird, but it's a, apparently an Italian tradition that she would make every year for Easter. Yeah, it's very odd. But I, so I grew nice. up eating it, and I was like, I thought it was normal. And then I, every time I tell people about it, they're like, what the frick are you talking about? It's just, that's weird and disgusting. Why would you eat that? And I'm like, because she made it. It was Italian. It was Italian food, you know. All right. No, there's no way Expand Dong on playing a Fire Emblem game, dude. No effing way. He says, oh, coming out in June is Fire Emblem Three Hopes. How about, I'm going to call it Fire Emblem Three Nopes. No, 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 I'm not playing it. The last one was so insanely long, and I'm already in insanely long playthroughs like Skyrim. I am not going there, okay? Game Checker with a final tip here for Kirby, $19.92. He says, I'm super happy that you played Kirby. I've been a huge Kirby fan since the original 1992. This is easily one of the best games in the series. I agree. By the way, the last Kirby game's final gauntlet had 15 fights. You had to re retry from the start if you died. I don't know what they're thinking. That's nuts. That's just insanity. Like, how... I don't... Again, you know, Kirby... Okay, you want to give me a challenge? But understand, it's not supposed to be like Demon Souls or... You know, give me a checkpoint. I you know, I already played an incredibly stressful game today. I didn't... I wasn't expecting that tonight. Thank you, Game Tracker. Once, once again, Game Tracker was a massive supporter and proponent of me not only playing Kirby, but then supporting it the entire time I played it. I really appreciate that, man. You may, you really helped me out. Thank you. Okay. Oh, okay. Expand Dog says, don't worry. This this Fire Emblem game is a Musu, like Persona 5 Strikers. Oh, it's not even an RPG. Interesting. Well, just so you know, we're resuming One Piece Pirate Warriors 4 as late night chill streams. Now, you're saying this comes out in June? Let's see what happens. Let's see how far I get in One Piece. Obviously, I can't play two Musu games at once, right? <laughs> Slayer says, is Jasper particular with his dry food? My cat always wants fresh dry food, and so it's crunchy, and he eats a little at a time. Not in particularly ultra picky. Like, if we fill his boot full with, with full, if we fill his bowl with dry food, he loves that. Fresh, he eats it. Maybe by the end of the day, there's not that much left. There's only a little bit around the edge of the ball. He'll be a little piggy. He'll try to get your attention. Hey, can you fill the bowl? Can you fill the bowl? But if he's hungry, he'll eat it. He's eaten the entire bowl empty before. 
What he is picky with is his kind of dry food. He really loves this particular one we get him. We've tried others, and he won't really eat them. It was funny. There was this one dry food we wanted to try once. <clears throat> and it had not only, apparently, like, higher-grade pellet, you know, food in it, but also it had freeze-dried fish pieces. He ate every freeze-dried fish piece and left all the food behind. And he's like, okay, so you're going to put my real food in there now, right? <laughs> Damn. Picky. Okay. Let's see. Mark, there's no reason why I wouldn't play Hitman Blood Money, but you you and other people every once in a while ask this question. Everyone says, Phil, did you ever play the original Hitman games? Yes, I did. I played at least one of them, if not two of them. I, I When I used to build PCs, I bought a graphics card for one of them, and it came with the game. It came with it. I don't remember which one it was. I think it was one where you were going to a mansion, and the mansion did impersonate the cook, and he'd stab a, a, a guy or, or poison him or something. I can't really remember, Okay. Um, I liked the game, but I didn't get too far in it. I never really, you know, I didn't even understand what really Hitman was back then. I was an FPS player. I was there to play Unreal and stuff like that, Unreal Tournament. Um, <clears throat> but then, many years later, they released the Hitman Collection on PS3, which I think is like Hitman 1 and then, and then 2, and then I think there's another one after, like Blood Money or something like that. I don't know. I don't really know what they are. I own this collection Forever. And I always made it an option. I said, hey, whenever there's a poll, whenever you guys want to see a new playthrough, you tell me what you want. I, you could say, I would consider playing. I have it. It never won. Sometimes it would get into the running. It would never win. I don't know why. It just never won. After all these years, we never played it because it never won anything. Now, I guess I could play it. If, if my PS3 still works. It just can't connect to Xbox, or excuse me. It can't connect to PlayStation Network. Um... So I guess it's not that big of a deal as long as it's a disc game. It is a disc game. I have the disc over there. But maybe one day we'll play it if someone actually wants it. But it never really happens. Thank you, Castro Jenkin, for re your membership. 11 months. He says, what's your favorite fast food restaurant? I don't have a favorite. I don't, ha I don't play favorites. I don't. There's a time and place for everything. I like McDonald's sometimes. I like Burger King sometimes. I like Wendy's sometimes. I like Taco Bell sometimes. I like... Uh, Actually, I don't like KFC. That's disgusting. I like Popeyes sometimes. I don't have a favorite. Mm. I don't want your mining graphics card. I don't want to buy it, and I want you to send it to me. Don't even say ridiculous stuff. Yes, I played with Lego toys when I was a child. Yes, I did. Panda Express, nah. I used to eat Panda Express when I was younger when I used to work at the mall. In the 90s, I worked in a mall, and there was a Panda Express there. And if you went to the Panda Express when the food was coming out fresh, it was really good. Like, it's orange rising, chicken, orange toxicity. chicken, teriyaki. Um, their, their fried rice was quite good. But you had to get it fresh. If you waited, and then you got it later when it was under that heat lamp, it was, like, hard as a rock and disgusting. And I had a friend who worked there, and he would key me in if I was hungry for Panda Express. He would actually call me and be like, hey, we're bringing out it right now. And I'd go over and get the food. <laughs> I wouldn't eat it. I, that, that shit is heat lamp food. If you eat that after it's been sitting here for a while, you will get a stomach ache. It's bad for you. Slayer has done an $11 tip. He said, let's get a quick hat for the end of the stream. Well, we have no time for a poll. I guess we'll just be silly. Thank you, Slayer, for the $11 tip. The Ziggy Piggy is here. <laughs> no time for a poll. He says, I'm looking forward to you continuing One Piece. If you play on a weekdays, I can't attend the stream due to work. I'll update you with the lore when I can. I can attend if you play it on Saturdays. All right, we'll have to see what happens because uh, I usually I alternate, as you know. Um, like, I'll give you an example. Monday night, we're definitely doing something off of Game Pass. I don't know what it is because people are voting for it right now, right? Um, I don't know what people will vote for if or when they'll vote for One Piece. I do want to continue One Piece. I liked the game. I was having a lot of fun with it. Remember I said... On PS5, it was running... Or excuse me, on PS5. On Xbox Series X, it was running beautifully. It was a full 60 frames, and I'd never played a Musu-style game like that in full 60 frames before. I was like, damn, it's, like, really impressive looking. So I want to continue... And by the way, that's the story of One Piece that I, I didn't know. When I started uh, getting caught up with, like, One Piece and stuff, um, it was way after that plot line. So this is cool, because it'll probably go along the plot lines that I didn't know, and I'll, it's new story for me, as well as uh, interesting gameplay. So I'm definitely interested in it, but I can't really guarantee when I'm playing it because it really depends on when people vote. Maybe eventually I'll just make an executive decision and play it myself if people don't vote for it because I am interested in it. But 
So fair enough. You're basically saying Saturday nights you're available, you're available, but weekdays you're very busy. Gotcha. Let's see what we can do. <laughs> uh, Jim the Frog says, I think we need a, a new Game Pass browsing stream to see what's new. Well, here's the thing, Jim. I understand that desire, but the games that we already have started, we have to play again. Because if we don't, right, uh, we'll never make progress. At, like I, I like Serious Sam 4. I was intrigued by the Outer Wilds. I am Fish. We've played like three of the different fish already. It's really neat. Right? Actually, I think we did all of them now. Didn't we do the Blowfish, the Piranha, the Flying Fish? Actually, maybe we didn't do the Blowfish. I think we did everything but the Blowfish. I can't remember if we did the Blowfish or not. But we basically made progress in all of them, okay? Do I just abandon them? Because right now, if we don't go back to them, we're never going to ever go back. You know what I'm saying? Like, if we do a new Game Pass stream, oh, here's all the new games on Game Pass. What about all the other ones I started? Back in January, and we never touched again because there were so many new releases. So the way I see it is, we need to, to go back for several weeks. Let's take night streams to go back and alternate these Game Pass games and make progress in them. Who knows? Maybe we will play one or two of them. And we'll be like, nah, we don't really want to play it again. Now that we actually went back to it and tried it again, maybe we will, okay, let's eliminate that one from the rotation. But the way I see it, I mean, there's five games in the poll I'm running right now on the main channel page of DSP Gaming on the community tab, and there's still like another two that aren't in it. You see, there's so many of them. So I definitely don't want to now add even more freaking games as possibilities when we already have all these others to get back to. You see, I'm totally about going back and checking out Game Pass once we kind of get through the backlog of stuff that we were working on, and then we can go check and see what else is there. Haha. <laughs> What's up, fan of Lovecraft? Good evening. He said, I'll remember the, I shall remember the tarnished. Well, it's not over yet. Margit, Morgot, whatever the hell your name is. Do you think Elder Ring is living up to the hype or is it overrated? It, here's the thing. It, it definitely, I can understand why there's hype and I can understand why so many people who've never played a FromSoft game before or were unable to really get far like it. But at the same time, that game has a lot of shortcomings, especially if you play the whole game. I mean, I'll be honest, almost the entire second half of the game for me was kind of underwhelming. Um, and I'll talk about that when I beat it. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. I'm going to do, I announced this the other day, I'm doing a shut the formal, full shut review up. of Elden Jesus Ring when fuck. I beat it. And Jesus I don't almost ever do reviews anymore. I am going to come out of review retirement to do a full review of Elden Ring because I feel like it warrants it. What the fuck? And then you'll get my full uh, my full opinion. There you go. WWE is coming when we either be Elden Ring or Lego. It's the next game. WWE 2K22. Okay. God, my nose is bothering me. To, congrats on platinuming Elden Ring, fan of Lovecraft. Elysian says, will there be a number rating for oh, it? Likely no, yes. no, you didn't. But you I don't think the number rating is as important as what I, what I have to say in the review with my words rather than a number. Mark my fucking words. A number's words. just a number to stare at. I gotta justify it, right? I'm That's what I really want to talk about. I'm gonna find out who the Slayers fuck is. In the One Piece are. game, after you beat the current you stage, you're at you know, about six more arcs to go through. You the game. Each arc is about three fucked. stages long. It's, it's gonna be. A, that's I Let know. Those moves games live are live on the internet. That's probably like a 20, you're 30 fucked. hour playthrough. It really is. And you are done. <clears throat> Lord Snowdove says, "Now that we've really played with the new consoles for a while, constantly to make money. What are I'm some not. of the the things that I think are the best improvements, and what are some of the things that are surprise drawbacks? Okay, best improvements." Improved graphics, almost every game running at 60 frames with some exceptions. But most games that I'm playing today are running at 60 frames, which is great. And loading times are almost non-existent. That's great. Loading times killed so much time. It was funny because when I first started playing PS5, I was like, okay, let's Got talk. And I, wait, oh, the games load. What the hell? Oh, now as a streamer, I would take the loading times that games would have to talk to the audience and read the messages and do shout outs. I was like, it doesn't exist anymore. It's gone. There's no loading time. They almost like, almost never exist anymore. It's like it's not even a thought in my head that we're gonna have to sit here and wait for loading because all the games are like this now, or they're just smooth transition. There's like none, right? So that's pretty neat. Um, so definitely improved graphics, improved frame rate, loading time. Those are the three big. If I could get things. down on my hands and knees and say, "Detriments Thank you, still be are on camera, I would number do one: it. both controllers have shortcomings. My PlayStation Five controller has drift and my thumbstick, and my Xbox Series X controller has a sticky trigger." Why? 
I mean, these consoles are new. Why are, the, why are the controllers falling apart? When I had my PS4 controller, that same thing happened. The thumbstick disintegrated on me. And now this one is thumbstick drift. It's like, what the shit? Why can't they get the controllers right at launch? It's very frustrating in that regard. Uh, I don't like that they literally went backwards with some features. Why did the PlayStation 4 and every PlayStation before it have dual audio out and PlayStation 5 doesn't? They took a feature out. You're supposed to be adding features when you make a new console, not taking them out. They took the feature out. No optical audio out anymore. So now everything has to be through an optical port that's not in the console. You got to find workarounds for everything. Lucky for me, I'm using headphones. I can plug them into my Xbox Series X controller and get surround sound, but not the PlayStation 5. If I do that, I mute my stream. So now I literally not once ever since I played PS5 have gotten a lick of surround sound. It's not possible. It's fucked up. I paid money for the console. Why the hell can't I get all the features out of it? Like, it's really ridiculous to me. It's like two steps forward, two steps back. And of course, oh, well, most people won't notice. It's fucked up, man. It's a next-gen console. It should still have the same features you had last gen. It's ridiculous. Why? And especially when your competitor has it and you don't. That's just stupid. So... Yeah, there's both, good, you know, positives and negatives about both consoles. I think we're on the right track. This is the first console gen that I feel like the expectations are lived up to. When I buy a new game now on my PS5 or on my Xbox Series X, I'm expecting it to run at 1080p 60 frames. And for the most part, most games do that. There's some exceptions, like Elden Ring doesn't always stay at 60, but it's pretty darn good. You know, most games on Series X hold around 60. It's good. I like that. It's not like la last console gen for me was the most disappointing because the game you bought the game you play is like why does it look like shit it's fucking supposed to be a new console the game looks like last gen it's choppy it's like what the fuck is this i'm glad we finally got to a point where now the games can actually look good no matter what, what console you're playing on Maseo says in the past two to three years owning a ps5 xbox series x have there been any issues appearing because my original ps5 controller has thumbstick issues i just said that i said my ps5 controller has drift in the right thumbstick and my Xbox Series X controller has this trigger that sticks. Both of them have issues. So neither console is immune to having a fucked up controller with the launch console. <clears throat> no, I've never went to a major Disney park like Disneyland. I went to Disneyland once with friends when I was in my early 20s. And we went in for a grand total of about an hour. I wanted to do everything. I was like, let's go on the ride. Let's go in the fucking haunted house. Let's do all this. They were like, we don't like it. It's boring. I was like, okay, I guess we're not doing this. So we left. We didn't pay for it. We actually got free tickets. Blah 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 just because of No Day One Games, Game Pass has like a hundred of games in rotation, but PS Plus reportedly has four hundred. Stop this! All right, here's the deal. Really, what do I enjoy on Game Pass, okay? I enjoy playing day one new releases and major new games that I missed out on that everyone talks about, but I really need to buy. I don't have money to do it. 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 And now I get to play them later on after the fact. Literally on PlayStation Plus's new version or new thing, that's not even really the case. There's no day one games at all, no new releases. And most of the games that are going to be on there are going to be Ancient games, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, cool. Every once in a while, I have a desire to play a retro game. So if I do, I guess I'll upgrade my PS Plus to the highest subscription level for one month. I'll download the game, play it, and then cancel it. There's no ongoing I factor need that, that money. I, need I really to have. do. I need that money to pay my bills. Game Pass. Oh, Game Pass Ultimate. Every month, I feel like I'm getting my money out of it. Maybe the last two months when I was majorly playing the new releases, maybe not. <clears throat> but now that I'm going back to Game Pass games, every day I'll be playing... Skyrim's on Game Pass, and then we're having the Game Pass night. So literally every night of the week, except Street Fighter night, I'm playing on Game Pass. I'm getting value on it. And, 51 see? Cents and they're all recent games. Intel. These aren't ancient games that I'm playing. These are pretty recent games, you know, as opposed to, oh, if I do PS Plus, the highest level, what am I going to play on it? Looks like someone had too much chili at Wendy's. I just don't see the value. Unless, again, you're, a, you're, you're heavily into retro gaming, you're going to be playing it constantly. Great. But every once in a while, people are like, hey, Apple Phil, will you play Silent Hill 1 again? Will you play... How about Final Fantasy VII, Phil? Will you play the original? Sure. Everyone, eventually I will. And then maybe I'll get it on GamePad or on PS Plus. But I don't need it every month. You know what I'm saying? 
The Ziggy no, Piggy's my, my back. No, my example of recent games wasn't Skyrim. Look at the games that we're playing. Serious Sam 4, The Outer Wilds, um, The Forgotten uh, this City. This is moronic. Here. Uh, most of the games in there are more recent, more recent editions. The Quake just was added as a new updated game for Xbox Series X. That, you know, I'm playing games that are recent within like the last year, year and a half. That's I'm not, not Skyrim. Come on. You're being stupid. What council am I getting Capcom Fighting Collection on? It's a tough decision. I feel like on PlayStation, you'll probably have a wider player base. But as you can see, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Because on PlayStation, they don't have a lot of the safeguards and things that you need to have a good online experience. You can't even stop someone from trolling you in the in the uh, Street Fighter Collection. Now, will they have a feature to stop that shit in the PlayStation version of this, this new collection? I don't know. So if you're going to be an asshole, right, I might be, be actually like an both. asshole. I you're going to be showing it for both consoles. And that way we have the best of both worlds. I can play through it on both. We can unlock stuff on both. We can have achievements on both, you know, trophies, achievements. And I can play both player bases, you know. That's true, Slayer. If anyone didn't play Life is Strange True Colors, you passed on it because you weren't sold. Tiger, it's on Tiger, Game Pass Aru, right now. Aru, yeah, Aru, it's Aru, it's Tiger, seriously Aru, the Aru. best one since the original Life is Strange. I would say it's equally good. They're actually equally good games. Seriously good. Check it out. <laughs> Gotta recommend that one. It's great. <clears throat> so Kirby is out of the rotation. It's done. There's nothing else to do in Kirby. We're done. We did everything. Well, I played through Red Earth in the new Capcom collection. If people so desire it, yes. Look at them. That wouldn't be Look like Friday them. Night Fights. Friday Night Fights Come is going to be me competitively trying to pay, play like Hyper Street Fighter 2 and Dark Darkstalkers. But if people want to see the other stuff in the collection, I could take a few streams to do it. Like daytime streams to kind of go through it. I never played Red Earth, so I don't even know what it's like uh, as a fighting game. I'd have to mess around Ooh. with it. Do I still have the OG camera I filmed my TV with in my early YouTube career? It's broken. It won't even, the door won't even stay closed in the bottom of it to hold the battery in. So I can't use it as a camera. I can only plug in the power cable. And even then it was having issues by the, at the end of its, you know, the end of the time when I was using it, it was having a lot of issues. So it actually was the right time to adapt uh, direct capture when I did. And I haven't actively used it in a hundred years. It probably doesn't even turn on anymore, you know? <clears throat> Oh, yeah? Two Point Campus is a game just like Two Point Hospital, and that comes out free on Game Pass in May. It's a new release. See, I never played Two Point Hospital. Apparently, it's very popular, isn't it? I've heard that it is a really popular series, but maybe that would be something to dabble. And again, I got Game Pass Ultimate. Why not? It's free. Give it a shot. Jim the Frogger says you could use it as a prop for your display behind me. I, if I found play it, I guess. Play constantly to make money. I'm not. I don't really think it would be that big of a deal. I mean, if I found it, I could cram it in there, but... I don't know where, again, like, it could be in the closet in that in that room. It could be buried in my closet over here. I don't even know. <clears throat> no, I never played Theme Hospital or Theme Park. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. No, I would not do a boxing event. I'm not a boxer. I'm a gamer, not a fighter. <clears throat> All right, guys. Last chance for some questions go, here. Go, 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 Toss go. them my way fat before we adjourn this Q&A. Thank you, guys. Very supportive stream, obviously, tonight. Really appreciate that. And uh, let's wrap it up, shall we? It's a piece of YouTube history, the camera he's talking about. I should auction it off. No one's going to buy it. <laughs> Do you want to play the fucking game? Any classic Disney World or like Kingdom Hearts 4? Damn. I'd have to think hard about that. Like, what Disney World's... Atlantis. The world of Atlantis. I, I don't know. What, what do I do? Redemption Games said, what is the most overall disappointing game of this year? Ugh. You guys always ask me the questions. There's no I, Guys, I play so many games. I, there's no way I'm going to remember that. I have to click on my playlist button on my channel and look at the different playlists that are listed here. So... Gee, let's see. Taking a look at all this. Let's see. I'm looking at everything I played so far this year. I'm playing see, you could argue Rainbow Six Extraction, but no one expected anything out of Rainbow Six Extraction. 
So I don't think you can say that because no one actually cared about that. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I would say, all right, taking a look at the big picture here, probably the King of Fighters 15, okay? Yeah, I would definitely say the King of Fighters 15 is one for me. Because I had big expectations. It, it just fell flat on its fucking face. Um, And I would say Dying Light 2. Not that I had great expectations for it, but man, that was far inferior to what I was expecting. I thought that they were going to innovate and do different things. It's literally Dying Light 1 with a few improvements and not much. It's still grindy and boring. Um... But like I said, the thing is, I don't really play that no, many games that are like uh, gambles anymore because I just can't. Number one, I don't have the time because I'm a full time streamer. And number two, I don't have the money to play them. So for me, like I didn't change, I didn't take a chance on many different games that I didn't think I would like. Like Horizon, I knew I would like and I liked it. There's things I, I didn't like about it, but it's not an ultra disappointing game for me. It's just a game that wasn't as good as it could have been. Still a good game though. You see, but like Dying Light Two. 15 hours in before you even start the real game is like, are you fucking out of your mind? Like, well, who, who do you think your audience is? Someone with no life? <laughs> Jesus, dude. You use your brain sometimes. These people fucking don't think. Um, <clears throat> Cracker Jacks, those gaming statues are years gone. Sold years and years ago. Taken away for various reasons. They're, they're, those, they're, there's a reason why you don't see that shit. That shit is long, long gone. That's distant past. That's why you haven't seen it in so long. Look how dumb they are. I don't know, Haseo. He said, will you skip Call of Duty this year? Or will you give it a try? It depends. I, I'll tell you. I'll tell you exactly what. Um, I'll tell you exactly how I will judge. Just like I did last year. I'll play the beta. Because you know they're going to have an alpha or a beta. They're going to release in the summer. Everyone's going to play it. And if it sucks ass like Vanguard did, I'm not touching it with a 10-foot pole. But if it's actually quite decent, maybe I'll consider it. But man, that, just playing that Vanguard beta, it literally had the opposite effect of what they intended. The more I played the beta, the more I hated the game to the point where I was like, there's no way I'm wasting my money on that. It's none of anyone's business. <clears throat> Aren't they taking the year off? No, they're taking next year off. This year is, what, Modern Warfare 2 or whatever? And then next year they're taking off. People, Wow, people have the story completely confused, I guess. I skipped the new Gran Turismo because, number one, I'm not into driving games that much. It's I love a driving Hulk sim, not an dick. arcade racer, so I didn't really know if I would care about the cars. And number two, because I had so many oh, other games yeah, at yeah, that yeah, time, yeah, 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 and it was kind of like I would have to take away from playing the other games to play it. So I made it kind of like wait and see, and then when it came out, it was panned. People were like, wow, it runs terribly, looks like shit, looks like a PS2, PS3 era game, and really there's not much to it. Only car aficionados would like it, so I'm glad I didn't play it. I Okay, guys, I think we're going to adjourn for the night. I want to say thanks for being a great audience. Thanks for the questions. Of course, thanks for the support. One final awesome thank you shout out to Game Tracker for supporting the Kirby playthrough as long as he did. Thank you guys for chilling with me. If tonight. I can get down on my hands and knees and say thank you and still be on camera. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you so very much. See you later. All right. Okay, guys, that is it for tonight. Thank you for chilling. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is upload everything, of course, as usual. Reminder that tomorrow, it's going to be uh, Lego Star Wars, the, the Skywalker Saga on the first stream, all right? And that's actually going to be, uh, oh, crap. You guys didn't want to see that. That's going to be, I turned off my switch. Oh, it froze. It froze the video feed. I see. Uh, so the Skywalker Saga is the first stream. We're going to be doing uh, Phantom Menace on that. Okay, and then the late stream tomorrow will be Skyrim After Hours, where we're going to be focusing on finishing the Dark Brotherhood quest line and then seeing what we want to do next. I'm strongly leaning towards the Companion, because you guys have asked for the Companion quest for a while, and I think it might be a good time to do them, so we'll have to see about that. Um, probably what we're going to do tomorrow night. And then Monday will be more Elden Ring challenging, challenging stuff, and then Monday night is for whatever you guys vote for. Quick reminder, okay? That on Monday, it's whatever you vote for right now on the main channel page of DSP Gaming. You go to the main channel page, community tab, 
five games in the running, all Game Pass games that we've played before, please vote. Your votes are super important, okay? You guys never saw this before? Where have you been? You never saw this before? Hold on, ready? Oh, hello, how you doing? Ah, you never saw that? You never saw, where have you been? I play that every night stream. Oh, no one ever see that. Good night, fan of Lovecraft. Happy Easter to you. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's adjourn. And, and uh, have a good evening. Takeout. Thanks for chilling with me tomorrow. Lego, Star Wars, Skywalker Saga, Phantom Menace, and Skyrim. All right? Two thumbs up. Thank you for a great streaming day. See you in the AM. Peace out. been pretty slow, not gonna lie.
Days burn me out, love just brings me down Cold inside like winter leaves that slowly leave the ground Hey, you come back, I wanna give you a chance Love me like you used to, so we can learn again 
Repeal, and that's it because you're just gonna waste our time again.
Thank you.